I'm not feeling very well. Poor me, poor me. I've got a bit of uh, a chesty cough. And I I have done a, a old Rona test and we're all good at the minute. Because um, I'm moaning a lot and I'm hungry. So what we're so, gonna do is try and remove as much of this old rubbish. I mean, it's like that, like, what's that for? So, I was round here when Mark was explaining what he was doing, he was doing something over there and he was uh, banging on about how I wouldn't be able to get this in. Hey, what does he know? It's straight in, he, uh, I've been able to pull it through. It's just a big chase down there, so it was, uh, yeah, it's quite easy. What does he know? So he's picking a bolt, innit? Yo, good morning. Right, welcome back to the channel if you are new, um, and if you are new, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Links are in the corner somewhere. So, right, we're starting another another job. So I don't know whether you remember this, but we actually came here quite a while ago, actually, uh, and it was to change these little bad boys. So the decorator's been in, so it's all de freshly decorated, and it turns out the house needs rewiring. So after it's already decorated, so this is going to be a bit of a challenging job. So. Like I say, it's a bit awkward doing it this way, to say the least. So me and Jack have just turned up, again, windiest day in the world. Um, luckily enough, we're inside, the rest of the lads are actually on site. Um, so I have invited them over to come and play, but they're not. So, that being said, I'm going to run you through the plan of action, uh, and let's get stuck into the video. Because this house is all freshly decorated, okay, so a lot of money spent in here, we're going to be using Quinetic Switching. Um, I think it's going to be the only way to do this without causing, well, causing minimal damage. Let's just say minimal, minimal damage. Um, so the idea is, is that we've got, uh, it's actually not a two gang over there, it's actually uh, a three gang, sorry, it's actually a two gang. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring everything down into this cupboard underneath here. So used to have storage heaters in here, so that's going. New board obviously on. Um, and then we're going to mount another uh, enclosure on here and have an all our kinetic senders, senders? Senders are going to come back to here uh, for the downstairs. And the upstairs we're going to uh, have them in the loft so that is the plan now the other part of this is that the kitchen has been rewired at some stage and that passed funnily enough so the kitchen we are leaving well alone the only thing that hadn't passed in here was the non-fire rated down lights so we've got to sort that out um, the this kitchen is going to be overhauled at some stage but obviously not at the minute we're going to sort this other stuff out so Jackie boy's just getting stuff in. Um, this conservatory is leaking ridiculously bad. So there's actually holes, you can see daylight all the way through. So we've got to isolate that, the power off into there um, because that's no, no good. Um, so we're gonna get rid of those. But all the socket heights are all staying the same, all switches in the same position. So we're gonna use the Quinetics and have them as like in the MK grid style. So, in here, we're planning, because like I say, we don't want much damage at all. So we're going to put some trunk in, in this corner, in this little bedroom, to get me up into the loft. Though, kindly, the homeowners have not carpeted this floor yet, because they're in the process of going through all the hallway and everything. Um, so yeah, so that's, so that's really good of them, actually. But like I say, communication. Communication is key with all these jobs. So, there's also... Again, with this bathroom is not being touched because again, that was rewired at some stage. So somebody clearly knew that there's something not quite right with this house, but nobody really manned up and told them that there's big problems other than me. So in here, my plan is to go up into that little bedroom and then come down as a, in a chase in that, in that corner or it's either that corner or this corner depending on the furniture above that one will be chased in and filled and then we're going to go underneath this wooden floor and we've got socket there 
one piggyback in into the hallway, uh, sockets behind the telly, uh, and then we've got uh, the socket in that corner. So that is the job. So like I say, we're gonna get, well, we, Jack is getting on with getting all the kit out, getting his all sorted. Um, and then, like you say, we'll go through cutting all the power off. So give us two minutes and we'll get ourselves sorted. Right, so this is the, the board that we all tested, this massive gaping hole all across the top. Um, so I've took out the cables that I need for now, um, bearing in mind that we are leaving uh, the kitchen and stuff well alone. Now, the other thing that um, Jack's now done, he's lifted up the floor, so Jack's now just putting a dust sheet down on the, although it's a tiled floor and we can clean it up, but putting a dust sheet down would be better. Um, so Jack's lifted up the floor now, so we're trying to plan runs, so we've isolated off all the actual sockets and stuff, so we'll take all those off. So like one of the things that he's found is these are new down lights that have been installed and that's basically what they're like. I don't really understand why that is like that when you can just terminate that end straight into into there. So yeah, bit bit of a weird one. So Jack started planning out the, the cable runs for down that way. Um, and also he's lifted up all the carpet. Uh, and also lifted up the floor in here looks, to be fair. Getting down to this end for these sockets. So in this bedroom, I've just got sockets there, some on the other end, which he's already lifted up down there, perfect. And so then we'll use the cable rods and go straight underneath to get over there. And then that will be that one. So we're gonna run this in radials. Um, anyone who knows and follows the channel knows that I prefer running radials in here, especially with decorating and all the rest of it, it's easy. You know, the people working from home, all that sort of stuff, they can just turn individual circuits off. So this little room, the little box room, what I'm gonna do with that one is put that room, because there's only two sockets going in there, on with the master bedroom, uh, and then this landing will be on this one. So like I say, it's not completely individual, but that's more than enough for, for this job in here so like i say the next plan is we'll start getting um we'll start getting these uh, floors up here but i'll just quickly show you two seconds and i'll show you the, the conservatory so this is the conservatory now this is in planning for to be tucked down but you can see we've got a few issues in here um like that's daylight you can see it through there so that's all slipped down um and there's this little like flat roof section here which i imagine would have been an old um you know outside toilet perhaps and coal house that sort of thing but that is basically how this is now so all the ceilings down um hence the bucket arrangement but there's multiple sockets and stuff in here and also as you can see there the down lights that are all on now hence the reason why i originally came here was to actually look at this uh and some of the other stuff that the decorator had been and done um good news for me is that this conservatory is ran off the original not actually the kitchen ring at all so which is brilliant for me because i've just isolated that all off and it's killed everything in this room which is perfect which is what the clients wanted the only issue we've got is because if you've seen behind me i've got the washing machine and tumble dryer uh, and there's a little freezer and stuff there as it stands now i've actually just put a little extension lead out to keep that powered up but at some stage that's not going to stay like that forever is it so we're going to need to try and do something as a temporary measure so we can get some power out now one of these on here not entirely sure which one it is is the heating control for the underfloor heating in here and in there so and there's two few spurs underneath there so what i'm planning on doing already trying to think ahead is if i kill the power going out as the, as the underfloor heating in there which is not used anyway and I've got a 16 amp radial there, and I can run an IP rated socket out there, um, because believe it or not, this end is not actually leaking. Yes, it needs sorting, yes, it's not ideal, um, 
but that is down to the customer to, to decide what they're doing with that. But that gives me an option because we're going to have to do something sorting, stopping that water coming in over that the, the far end. That's just no powers going in there. So, but yeah, so that's where we're at. So Jack's just he's whipping all these down, which you can see. Um, so those three. So look at that little treasure down there. Yeah. So these downlights are being re reused but rewire it properly. Um, so yeah, so that's the plan. So Jack's just dropping these down. That's a non-fire rated one, that's an old one. Um, what, 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 what? Oh. Nice. Yeah, so it's, <coughs> so it's a non-fire rated one. Obviously you've got singly insulated cables exposed there. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're doing. So we're gonna get cracking a little bit. Um, I'm not feeling very well. Poor me, poor me. I've got a bit of uh, a chesty cough, and I, I have done a, a old Rona test, and we're all good at the minute. Um, so yeah, so we'll start running some cables, uh, and I'll get back to you in a minute. Jack's got all the boards up now. We've moved the furniture. Um, We've had to take the bed apart to stand it up on its end because there's no way of making any more room. So he's got to all these part, part, parts now, I can't even talk today. Um, and so we've moved all the rest of the furniture, got it all to this stage now. So Jack's just got this little board left to un undo and then we've got to drill, drill all the cables, but it's just really bad workmanship, a lot of this, uh, which has led to loads of different problems. So you can see we've had alterations that have happened and clearly DIY sort of stuff um, Yeah, so not not great and this is what's caused a lot of the bad readings and results and we've got old cables spliced into new ones and oh, so, But not done properly. I mean there's okay you join in stuff. That's fine. Do it properly. That's not a problem um, So let's like say we're about ready to start running cable now. So my plan for the cable runs is like what we're going to do, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to come down from this board, which is directly underneath us here. I'm going to try and get some 4x2 trunking right into that corner uh, and then lead that across, which Jack's just got that ready on the old drum runner. Um, and then, oh, so we've got really limited space. So you see all that little mess that's going up there. We're going to try and tuck that in and that corner down there and then I've got a plan. I, I think what I'm going to do is run some 4x2 across here and then mount the new board in the similar location. Um, obviously that's going to come off so whether I can try and drag it on a little bit further. Um, but obviously I'm limited with all this down here. So that is the plan. So if... Um, yeah, so that's, that's the idea. So I'm going to start running that cable up. Jack's just above me. Uh, and then we'll jump back in with you in a second once I've just made a start and got the cables up into that space. So bear with. So I've got the cables up into this bit here. So which is just to that, that stage. So I've just taped my lighting and, uh, and a bit of two and a half there. So Jack is going to get on with taking those floorboards out in the other room. So what we were thinking of doing is if we take out all this old cable that's basically like this, so that was actually underneath the uh, underneath the floor, and that leads off, looks like underneath the bathroom way. So what we're gonna do is try and remove as much of this old rubbish. I mean, it's like that, like what's that for? Um, so like I say, there are some circuits that are still energized, so it's really important to make sure that you test everything before you cut it. And then we're gonna strip it out everywhere that we, we we can so like here we've got cables down here they can all go there's a little bit there that's just been used as a bin we'll get all that out of the way um and then we can redrill our new holes and get them all sorted and i think that's just going to be a better way of going about um doing this job to be honest it's like the sockets in here the clients actually said oh this one has caused lots of problems actually over the time which is actually this one here again a very much a diy special but it's not this homeowner because they haven't done this this is they've paid for people to do it um and it's like they've oh, i've got some sleeving but i ran out i ran out oh that'll do and that is and that is how it was um 
ring was broken as well in here. Um, but these are all lath and plaster walls, which are an absolute nightmare to work with. So, so yeah, so we'll, we'll cut all these out and get this all sorted, but I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see of that. Um, so we'll, we'll try, we'll try. Right, me and Jack are actually putting some cables in now, which is nice. Let's try and put you down like that. So what we're gonna do is I just thought I'd show you how I go about putting, uh, like tying on to these cables, okay? Because I've got my two of my legs here, um, I don't wanna be messing about with this lath and plaster. So what I do, this is like, there's a couple of ways that you can do it, okay? So this is what my preferred method on something like this. So if you strip that off, so one of the methods, you can just tie, cut these two off and tie your CPCs together and then tape it. But this one, I actually want it, because it, it is tight, it's really tight down there to, uh, to get that in. So what I'm gonna do is peel them all off, so like that. And then I'm just gonna do it on this other end down here. Okay, let's try and bring you in a bit closer. Oh, camera works on point today. So, so what I like to do now is make a loop that way, make a loop that way, and then fold them round. that's nice and tight on there then you can tape them because you it's trying to flatten down some of the edges you can crimp them with pliers as well if you want to tape them you get them a bit flatter but it should be okay on there and then the idea is then you can pull it pull it through but it doesn't always work but that's what I'd that's what I'm going with There's the other end. Brought that through, so that's one done. And now I've got to get the other leg up to this one. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'll do is because you can get a bit of a bit of a tighter pull on that rather than just using the single CPC on there. So, so yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. So Jack's drilled out the other room. Jack's just trying to sort out this bit now. So there's a just a double socket over there. So we're going to use the um, oscillator just to come down below because you, you're never going to be able to uh, pull through because there isn't any capping on it anyway so it's just been plastered in so that's what Jack's up to so right bear with so I was round here when Mike was explaining what he was doing he was doing something over there and he was uh, banging on about how I wouldn't be able to get this in hey what does he know it's straight in. You, uh, I've been able to pull it through. It's just a big chase down there, so it was. Uh, yeah, it's quite easy. What does he know? So he's picking the bolt in it. Right, me and Jack are making some pretty decent progress. Um, I just thought I'd share with you a few things. Um, now, when we lifted up the boards down this end, and also Jack did prove me wrong, didn't he? he showed me, didn't he? So. Uh, when we lifted up the board down this end, and there was a junction box down here there was, uh, also the classic just twa taped, twa taped joints as well, and that, <coughs> <coughs> that socket there didn't have a grommet in it at all, because it was here, it was under the floor lot, all that time. So they'd gone to the effort to get it out the van, but, I'm not going to put it in. It's not not 
not worthy of putting it in so you just the idea is yep yeah, just drop it in there look that's where she lives just in there so jack's also managed to do this one without any damage isn't he he's a good egg that one good egg not over there though he's ruined it ruined it told him not to do it at all he wouldn't have it i said you'd be able to do that easy without pulling anything through look at him animal so not really it's plastered in that one so what we're doing now is we're running the rest of the cables in we've got most of them sort of in place upstairs now there is lath and plaster up on the walls which is these so it's an absolute bloody nightmare that is good doing that absolutely hate lath and plaster so the only way i can see fixing that is if i foam the living daylights out of there and try and fill it all with foam uh, obviously we have fire foam that we use but not brilliant and we were gonna we, we are going to be putting another socket on like underneath the desk here so underneath the desk in there there's going to be another double socket and we were hoping to uh, chase that in but now knowing that it's lath and plaster that's not happening they're just going to be surface mounted in a patras um, because I don't once you start on lath and plaster anyone knows it's not not fun so managed to get these in yeah like I say everyone's everything's staying in the same place because it's all been decorated so we're trying our best to stop any damage so so this room's pretty much sorted now um, but yeah that's the other thing I've saw I wanted to show you this if I can let's, let's have a little lie down tired feeling a bit ill today got a little snooze so in there i don't know whether you can see that very well but that is one of the cables for the kitchen ring so that's a steel there that's what these timbers are sitting on see it runs all the way along all the way down there so yeah not brilliant is it so I'll mention that, I'll take a photo of it anyway and I'll mention it to the customers and yeah so really like I say when they do the kitchen the plan is to rewire all the kitchen anyway at that at that stage um, it's tested out okay but obviously like I say you can't see all the cable runs can you so how can you sign you can't sign it off as being your own work because it's not um, but you can sign it off to say that electrically it's safe a weird one really isn't it but but yeah like I say that goes down there and tucks off underneath there and that'll be to the back wall uh, down there and then it shoots off again so ah oh, never mind but yeah so what we plan now um, is we're just running the rods through um, and down to the the down lights so or the, uh, the either side of the fireplace so one down to there one down to the other side uh, and then what I'll do is I'll set you up time lapse while I'm doing this it won't last long um, because it is literally just this run so two seconds and I'll sort that out Right, so as you just saw, the cables all ran now, they're just literally over here, and they're all sorted. So I just wanted to mention to you about the wireless switching. Now, later on in this little rewire, um, you'll see we'll do a full video and stuff on those anyway, but I just wanted to show you quickly. So that is your sender, as I call it. Uh, it's actually called a controller, and that is your light switch. So and it, all it is, it's just literally like a rocker switch, like that. Okay, so these are absolutely brilliant for installations like this where it's all decorated. It really is the only way to to make it work. Um, 
like I said, we're going back to the board, so that's where all these will be mounted. These modules will be all mounted in there for the downstairs, and then the upstairs are going to be mounted in the loft. Um, I dare say, because the range on them is supposed to be brilliant, I think it's like 30 metres indoors and 80 metres outside. Um, but we're going to be splitting them up a little bit, so it's just going to make life a bit easier in the loft. So all you do, really, to pair them is you press and hold your button on there if you can see it press and hold that usually for three seconds and then it will start flashing at you press your press your switch and off you go now these go into the mk grid switches um, the only thing you need to make sure is that your back boxes are deep enough to to take that in there so roughly like a 25 mil really is minimum uh what you're going to need but they are literally like magic so these absolute winner um, especially in here like i say it's all it's all um freshly decorated so they don't want any damage as well damage to a minimum should i say electrics is not magic let's let's just put that out there full disclaimer it's not magic but there are things like this that make life a lot easier in and this is really is the only way to do it here especially in the hallway where that's where the most of the uh the recent decorating has been done but yes yeah, so i just wanted to show you that so like i say we've got lots done today um but i just wanted to share that with you and uh yeah better go and help jack Today's video is sponsored by Tradeify. Um, for those of you who don't know what Tradeify is, it is a job management software. Um, you can use it on your phone, your tablet, your PC. It is brilliant and it will give your evenings back. Trust me, it's, once you've set it up, it saves so much time, it's ridiculous. Also, the, what I really do like about it is that, especially with using it on the iPad, is that like I'm here today, you can. There's additional work that's need done, needs to be done. I can go out to the van, alter it, send it straight to the customer. They click on accept or decline. It's up to them. Um, and you know straight away you're into a contract. It's all all above board, done and dusted. But yeah, go and check them out. There's a 14 day free trial, which I'll put in the description below. Uh, and then if you like it which I'm sure you will. I mean, we've been using it for a good year and a half now, um, and we wouldn't, genuinely would not go <coughs> anywhere else. Um, if you do like it, after that 14 days, if you use the promo code GHAWK50, then you'll get 50% off for the next three months. So, happy days. Right, enough of that. Catch you in a bit. So, me and Jack have been busy 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 so we've got most of the cables in now we rewired these lights and if you follow me on instagram again the links in the description below you'll see there was absolute junction box city in just that little basically that little area there to absolutely tons of them so we've got all the cables in that we need to in this room so jack's been getting the carpet down so we can just ready for a second fix now so he's got this room done with no damage so he's done well as jack don't know where that's from i'm gonna find out where that's gone where that's from so then we can move all the beds back um I'll tidy up a little bit on the edge in for the carpet so i've just popped up into the loft um which i'll show you it's so my plan for getting the feed up stairs is into this corner so i've just marked it down here so we're going to get the oscillator and and cut that bit out and then we're going to put some number two trunking in uh, and straight up up to there now i'm going to be honest i think this is the most boarded loft i've ever seen which does make it a bit more of a challenge i'm going to be honest so let me just put that safety first girls and boys so put that on there let's grab the old uni light right let's let's go up and have a look so here we are so how many lofts are like this it's a little scribed in on the corners and did a, did a really good job there so and then there's me going to be coming along and chopping it to pieces so the plan is as you can see me at all is down in this corner just down down there um well it's actually more like over there is i'm going to be drilling up 
and then bringing the feed in and then what I thought about doing is if I can then mount on uh, this post here if I can mount my uh, big adaptable box and then have all my um, senders in there for all the different various rooms now what I'm going to be doing which was discussed with the client is where the lights are for example down this way um, if there's a light down there um, which there is on on that bit I'm going to drill straight through the floor so it's straight through this this board in here because there's no way I'm taking all this up uh, and doing that it's not been priced for and to be fair to the customers they're like yeah that's fine and then I'll run all the cables around the outside so I only need to go for example that one there it's gonna be drilled up across this beam here and then straight back up into the box and then it's various points like you know one in the landing things like that um, I think that's going to be the best way of doing it and the most cost effective way because they don't want to be spending loads of money on me lifting up the boards and then putting them back down do they so let's go and catch Jack find out what he's been doing I'm blinding now so they clamber back out so it's nice to actually get on day one and now let's remember this is day one just starting getting the carpets back down unusual oh jack's got oh, nobody's saying that sparkies don't tidy up exactly you see we do tidy up don't we um so we've just got that little bit of damage so far back there um and then just where we've got some of the dry liner i think i showed you earlier on um like I say, we're going to foam those, but overall, not too bad, not too bad at all. But like I say, it's just nice to be able to get uh, the the floors and the carpets back down. Now that one's staying like that at the minute because that long cable there is actually going to be going downstairs. So yeah, very very productive day. So I think that will do us for now. Um, well, I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have like I say there'll be more coming I'll catch up with you tomorrow uh, when we get on with the chaser um, because we are gonna have to chase unfortunately <coughs> downstairs um, but yeah so from me and Jack we shall see you on the next one take care guys